And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look. It's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey. I'm going to name him Popsicle because I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! Check it out. It's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> oh, wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look, a lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors, yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay. Ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, bean 
Peter Grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! Hey, we're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great, how many scoops? Oh, five scoops, okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop, two a vanilla scoop, three mint chocolate chip. <laughs> There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. Oh, wow, it's stacked up so high. Mm. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> Awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small, those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes? Fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. Oh, that 
was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack, quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too, and a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite, high and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> Oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? <laughs> They're so much fun. Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun. Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. 
Whoa! <laughs> Look how many bubbles! Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. <laughs> That's right! There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello! All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa! Even more bubbles! Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa! So many bubbles! Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I caught it! <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa! That was a big bubble! <laughs> Hi! Hi! I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So, I saw you making a bubble. Uh huh. All right. So we're gonna make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like you Ooh. did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa. <laughs> wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here, see this? film mm -hmm. on the wand. Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? Want to try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, Something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You wanna try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Oh, oh that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so, the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it was, a little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it, and then they can link together. Ooh, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this 
bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you got it. I got a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it. But I wet my hand, so I think the water is gonna like each other, <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you wanna see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes, do you oh. remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm -hmm. All right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something <laughs> besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it can get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 <sighs> degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Yeah. Isn't it neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them so they get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, <gasps> there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moves. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make <gasps> a bubble arch. It's like a rainbow. All right, I'm going to make one more just for you, all oh, right? Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right, do you want to try? Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, get some solution on there, and... <gasps> Whoa! Wow, it was so pretty! That was awesome, great job! Thank you, and thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no <laughs> problem! I hope you're having a great time. Oh yeah? Have fun! All right, I'll see you later! Okay, bye! Whoa! <laughs> she knows a lot about bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one! Oh! <laughs> I wonder what else 
else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look. It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> bubbles on me. <laughs>
The gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yeah. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> And you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. But with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. You can. I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. You're going to kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just going to walk forward. Okay. Walk one, one two, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay. Nice. Now we're going to walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're going to feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam. Feel for the plant. beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I made so it to we'll the stop. end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walks. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there flamingo. we go. Step, flamingo. <laughs> Step, flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It probably safer. makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're going to try a scale. Uh huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're going to take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body, you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job! <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one, are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually gonna do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay? Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you wanna squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're gonna go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And try again. 
Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready, one, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there. Mm -hmm. And you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Sean. Let's do it. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this, take a deep breath, and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym, because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. Okay, <laughs> look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, feel, feel your behind you and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, let's take two more steps. Okay, one, one two. two. Okay, are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Stop, stop, okay. stop. <laughs> are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So what we're gonna do, I'll show you, you feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump, keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> That was really good. That was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! Whoa! I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've job. mastered the beam. Do you wanna to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that <laughs> beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great. But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. Oh, thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off. A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes. yes. That sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Whoa! <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. I'd Let's give it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also wanna to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. Of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was so cool! Thank you! Do 
Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah. We had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yes. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S H A W N Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
Hey, Sally. She's about two years old. Um, <laughs> would you like to meet her? I can bring her out. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the back of the body. Uh-huh. We're gonna gently grab her. Now, if she at any point wants to get off of me, that's totally fine. Here's Sally. Wow, Sally is so long. Oh yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> Hi, Sally, it's me, Mika. <laughs> Says hello, Mika. Oh, do you know what those colors are? Yeah, brown and beige. Oh, look at that long tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's sniffing at her home. You see her tongue coming out? Yeah. She's like, this is my home. I'm going to go back. Oh, he's nice and snug in there. Mm -hmm. She says, nice to meet you. Oh, slither back home, Sally. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Who's that? This is Harvey. He's our hamster. He is about two and a half years old, which is actually an adult age for hamsters. And this is his little home. Oh, looks so cozy. It is. <gasps> Wait, is this what I think it is? It is. Check out this hamster wheel. <laughs> the hamster's running this round circle, round and around and around. Oh, I wish there was a human-sized hamster wheel. That could be really fun. <laughs> he loves that thing. I bet it looks like a great time. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so this is Harvey's favorite activity. Would you like to see him roll around? Oh yeah. All right, so I'll let you see what he does. He already knows what to do. Oh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? <laughs> this is his favorite activity, so he does it at least once a day, a couple times a week. Helps keep him uh, in shape and yeah. healthy. Great exercise. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, friend. And I'll see you later, See Lewis. you later. <laughs> <gasps> Check it out. My wish came true. <laughs> a giant hamster wheel. Ooh, I'll name it the Mika wheel and give it a try. Come on. <laughs> Treat for me. Hand it over. <laughs> Give it. Hello, friends. Would you like to play with this toy? Here you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know kitty cats use their whiskers to help them see? Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, they move around their whiskers to sense what's around them. Here you go. Do you like to play? <laughs> yeah! Oh, so cute. <laughs> hey, another fun fact is kitties, they can jump six times their height. That's really high, kitty cat. <laughs> Wait, I was supposed to be looking for Penny. That's right, let's keep looking. That means goodbye. <laughs> Over here. Check it out. It's the dog we've been looking for. Penny. 
<laughs> What's that? She's right behind me? Oh, let's go meet her. Hello, Penny. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey, Lulu. Hi. Okay, so you wanna meet Penny? Yeah, is it okay if I pet her? Yeah, so the first rule is to always ask the handler if it's okay to meet your dog. Very important. And then you're gonna get down to their level. See, now we're at the same level. You're gonna <laughs> offer Penny your hand so she can sniff you, get to know you. <laughs> I think she likes me. And then you can get two fingers like this and then go down her back. Oh, wow. Oh, what? <laughs> She's so friendly. But remember, it's important to ask the adult with the dog if it's okay to pet and how they like to be pet. Yeah, does Penny like scratches? She does like scratches and she prefers to be pet under the chin, not over the head. Oh. Over the head's a little scary. Okay, may I pet you under your chin? Oh yeah, lots of scratches. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Penny. Oh, prefer under here. Yes, right. under the chin. There you go, much better. Do you want to help me put on her Dot me vest? Sure, she looks ready to go. Perfect, do you have treats on you or do you need some? I do, I have some in my jam pack. Perfect, you can feed her treats. Hey Penny, I have a treat for you. Ooh. Yeah, such a good dog. <laughs> Perfect. Do you wanna clip the bottom one? Yes, please. All set under your belly. All done. <gasps> okay, can I take her outside? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Come on, Penny, let's go play. <laughs> Bye, Penny. See ya. Hey, I think I have something for you, Penny, in my jam bag. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do you like a treat? Did you like a treat, Penny? Go get the treat! Oh, good girl. <laughs> I hope you're happy with your new family. It was so nice getting you ready today, Penny. <laughs> hey, did you know that a dog's nose is just like our fingerprints? Yeah. Just how no two people have the same fingerprints, no two dogs have the same nose. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was so much fun. I hope Penny and her new family are very, very happy. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, bark. See you later. <laughs> And today I'm at Peter Weber Equestrian Center in Rolling Hills Estates, California. And I'm so excited because today we're going to feed and care for horses. And also, I heard there are some other animals here for us to meet. Come on, let's go explore. Howdy y'all, it's cowgirl Mika coming to check on my horses. This rootin' tootin' town needs someone to make sure all the animals are taken care of. And I'm the gal for that. <laughs> okay, let's go get the horses started on their daily routine. I've been given permission to feed all the animals here today. Can you help me? Oh, great! I've got my bucket. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bobby. Hey, buddy. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Whoa, he must be so excited to meet me. Did you know you can tell a lot about a horse's mood by the way his ears are pointed. If they're pinned back, that means they're not feeling very friendly, so we should give them some space. But if they're forward, that means they're looking ahead and it's okay to pet them. Oh, look, his ears are pointed forward. He must be ready for us to pet. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's so soft. Did you know that a horse can look at two different... Yeah, that's right, buddy. He's excited to eat. Did you know horses can pay attention to different things when their ears are pointed in different directions? That means they're focused on two different things at the same time. But he's ready to eat. Let's feed him. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for breakfast? 
Hmm. What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <gasps> Look, we have some carrots and some hay. Let's go. Are you ready, buddy? Oh, wow! Let's try some hay next. <gasps> Great job, pal! <gasps> horses are herbivores, so they love to eat plants. Did you know horses don't have to brush their teeth? That's right! That's because their teeth keep growing and growing. And they never get too long because they just get whittled down when they eat. <laughs> really cool! <laughs> Buddy is a Palomino horse. Horses come in all different colors, like Appaloosa, Pinto, Paint, Black. I've got it. Let's go on a ride and find a bay horse. Come on, let's go. Check out all these horses. Okay, first we'll park Buddy, and then we'll take a closer look. Great job, Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dismount now. Now he's in. <gasps> wow, look at all these horses. They're so colorful. <gasps> Check out Happy. Hello, Happy. Is Happy a bay horse? No, Happy is an Appaloosa. <laughs> cool. Let's keep looking for our bay horse. Check this guy out. I wonder if he's a bay horse. Hi, are you a bay horse? No, that's a chestnut horse. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, I see another horse over there. Let's go see. Hello. <laughs> Are you a bay horse? Oh, no. That's a Palomino, just like Buddy. OK, one more. Is this a bay horse? That's right. It is a bay horse. <laughs> Hello. I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> Let's walk him over to his stall. There we go. All right, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> now that we're here, we should check his stall. It's important to keep a horse's stall clean from manure and mud so they don't get sick. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, it's spotless. Great job keeping your room clean. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's time for some grooming. I'll grab my brush. Wow. It's important to clean off any dirt that might bother them under their saddle. We can also check for any injuries he might have gotten overnight. Great. Did you know that horses can run right after being born? That's incredible. It takes humans a lot longer to learn how to run. First, we learn how to roll over, and then sit up, and then crawl, and then walk, and then run. But horses can do it right away. That's so impressive. Must be because their legs are so strong. Do you need any lunch? Nope, you've already eaten? Okay, guess my work here is done. See you later. Let's go check out what other animals we can feed. Oh. Wow, check out this petting corral. Let's see what kind of animals are inside for us to care for. Follow me. Whoa, there are so many animals. I see goats and alpacas. Oh, there's even a chicken. Let's see if they need some food. Come on in. Hello. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's ready. Have you had any food? That means, yep, I'm all full. <laughs> What's in my bucket? I grab my brush so your hair can be nice and plush. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Let's start brushing. <laughs> brushing is important because it loosens any loose hair and danger from their hair. Mm-hmm. That helps keep their blood flow nice and healthy. There you are, friend. Great job. <laughs> You're all clean. You look great. My job is done here. Wow, bunny rabbits. Let's hop inside. Hop, hop. Keep hopping. <laughs> Check out all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <laughs> oh, lettuce! Bunnies are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. And they're very social too, so they like to live in groups. Let's count how many bunny rabbits we see. <gasps> One, two, Three! Three bunny rabbits! Oh, they're so soft and cuddly! <laughs> and bunny rabbits, their teeth, they just keep growing just like horses. But it gets whittled down after they eat. <laughs> Our rabbits are all fed. Let's go see what other animals we can find. Oh, look at these tortoises. They're so cool. Are you ready for some lunch? <laughs> yes, I got you. What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? Whoa, he started early. That's right, it's lettuce. A tortoise's shell is really tough to protect them. They can put their head, arms, and legs inside like a cozy little home. <laughs> and these shapes, they're called scutes. Oh, that's a lot of scutes. Now that the tortoises are fed, I'll just scoot on out of here. Success! All the animals are fed, groomed, and taken care of. Thanks for helping me, friend. <laughs> that was so much fun meeting Buddy and all those cute bunnies, tortoises, and goats. They're all fed and ready for their day. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.